Good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're going to look at the Blue Eddy EB3A portable power station, which is Blue Eddy's newest model out, which has some additional features that I really like that the other model that I did recently didn't have. This just showed up on my doorstep, EB3 power station. Now, this is quite a bit smaller than the other one that I got, because this only has 268 watt hours capacity and is quite a bit smaller. This is an entry level power station. This one even has wireless charging, 15 amps. There's your DC outputs right there. Three USBs, 12 volt socket. You got a light, two 120 volts. And then for your input, for your solar and 110 input. And that light's pretty bright too, I must say. So of course, one of the first things I'm gonna do right out of the box is I downloaded the app that utilizes with this one because the other one I had blue the blue Eddy EB55 does not connect to an app or this one here does and installation of connecting to an app is pretty simple you don't need to create an account or anything so the first thing I'm going to do is go down and check for firmware and software updates and sure enough there is and updating the software is actually very quick and you can see on the screen there in about five minutes it was done reboot restart the app refines your device now i was kind of playing around with it because he has like 1200 watt maximum output for emergency uses i wouldn't want to use it under sustained load and i'm looking at charging systems and especially with turbo, uh, you don't want to do that unless your device really needs power bad because it may shorten the life of the batteries perhaps, or I'm not sure, but it kind of gives you a warning. So I'm just doing the one last update right here. And I have a 100 watt solar panel in the house. And I'm going to take that outside and charge it because of the connection that it has. So I just laid it out on Tomcat's kennel. And plugging it into power station because during the summertime my power stations I use it for various things in the home and I'm gonna try to keep them completely powered off solar I use them to run my satellite radio charge all my cameras charge my phone etc and it ramps up slowly to the solar panel 64 78 watts and then of course on the app you can see it right there coming in and after about an hour I was 100% charged and I was pretty happy. It did come with a 110 plug-in. It's supposed to come with a solar plug-in as well, but somehow I didn't seem to find that in the box and it's already gone out to the dump and long gone if it was in there. So I have my satellite radio plugged in. What I like about this one, it says I got 14 watts, but it also tells you how many hours are left for battery use with the wattage that you're using. So the EB55, was the model I got did a video of it a few weeks ago it's rated for 700 watts this one here says 600 but the uh, the watt hour is less at 268 less inputs and all that too both of them have 15 watt wireless charging but I do like the display on the EB3 better now personally the EB3A is a little small for my needs, but it's not useless to me. I prefer the 700 watt model and anything greater than that, especially when you're out camping. So the EB3 can, can be used as a UPS. So when you plug in your power cord and you have other things plugged in like your laptop or if you're doing important work and you don't want the power to go out, you can double up as that. Now going back to the displays, that's the display of the EB55. Tells you your wattage input output, but doesn't tell you how long it'll last given the amount of power used. Anyways, there's the size differences. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.